What's up YouTube, it's ICU. And in today's video, we're going to talk jailbreaking. Welcome back to my jailbreak update series, where in today's installment, we're going to be discussing iOS 13.4, 13.4.5, 13.3.1, 1, and a plethora of other information. Definitely check down below in the description for timestamps, though I'm going to try to make this video as short as possible. Let's just cut right to the chase. No, there is not a new jailbreak capable of jailbreaking the latest devices above iOS 13.3. So what that means is that if you're on 13.3 or lower, great news, you can jailbreak. If you're on 13.3.1 or higher, unfortunately, you cannot jailbreak. That's the rub of it right now. And as for older devices running iOS 13.4, as of recording this video, CheckRain has yet to be updated to include support for iOS 13.4, even though the tool is capable of jailbreaking iOS 13.4. So if you want updates for either a brand new jailbreak capable of jailbreaking your devices or CheckRain, be sure to subscribe. Click that subscribe button if you have yet to ding that notification bell to ensure that you are updated the very second I release new coverage on those utilities. Guys, that is the best way you're going to stay in the loop. Now, first, we're going to be discussing 13.3, 13.4, 13.4.5, 13.3.1, 13 and the jailbreak situation for newer devices. And then we're going to get into check rain because I want to let you guys know a few things where that's concerned as well. So this is kind of tricky to decide where exactly to begin. As many of you know, and as I've let you know a number of times throughout a number of my videos, 13.3.1 closes the uncovered jailbreak for newer and older devices alike. If you wanna be updated the very second a new jailbreak is released, in addition to subscribing, you can take it one step further and you can actually navigate to my jailbreak status checker page listed on best tech info. This red no will change to a green yes once a new jailbreak supporting new firmwares is released linked down below in the description. But what I wanted to mention, like I said, iOS 13.3.1 closes this uncovered jailbreak. But as I let you guys know in my last two recent videos, 13.3.1 actually contains a new kernel vulnerability that could potentially be exploited and maybe we'll see an update to uncover. It's a lot of ifs and conditions, but if everything goes according to plan, we may see another update to uncover. We just don't know right now. It is possible and for your best chance of being able to jailbreak, I let you guys know a number of times you need to stay on 13.3.1 if you were already locked out of the 13.3 jailbreak. Well now, as of this week, Apple has stopped signing iOS 13.3.1. It joins the ranks of unsigned firmwares, making iOS 13.4 the only publicly restorable firmware as of recording this video. What that means is that if you're on 13.4, I mean, don't really panic because you can't go back to 13.3.1 anyway, but just heed my advice, guys. Heed my warning. Stay on as low of a firmware as you possibly can. So if you're on 13.4 now, just stay where you're at. Maybe in something like 13.4.5, which we're just about to talk about, Apple will close more kernel vulnerabilities, leaving those older firmwares like 13.4 in this case vulnerable. We just don't know right now. The situation is constantly changing. It's dynamic, never static. That leads into the next point. Apple did in fact release iOS 13.4.5 beta to developers earlier this week on March 31st. So what exactly does that mean? I mean, 13.4.5, didn't we just get 13.4? Wouldn't it make most sense to actually get 13.4.1? Well, yeah, it would, but Apple does like to put certain versions through more betas than others. And what this seems to indicate is that potentially 13.4.5 may not see the light of day for a few months and we could get other smaller incremental updates between 13.4.5 and 13.4 released to the public while 13.4.5 is still in beta. And like I mentioned, if you guys take anything away from this video, avoid this beta. If you are interested in updating to this beta, simply put, don't. There's really no reason, especially if you're interested in jailbreaking. So that's everything for the newer devices where everything stands right now. 
Also, if you guys happen to see any sort of jailbreak tutorial on YouTube or any other website claiming to be able to jailbreak anything past 13.3, it is 100% fake. You cannot jailbreak 13.3.1. You cannot jailbreak 13.4. That is a matter of fact. Most of the time, these fake tutorials will promise to install Cydia on your device by downloading some sort of application. Now, this app is actually a paid sponsorship or advert featured by whichever site you're trying to obtain Cydia from. And basically, again, these websites will tell you to download an application that has nothing to do with jailbreaking that's on Apple's App Store that's really an official application. It could be something like a game or really anything. Those developers of those applications pay third-party services to generate installs, to generate users for them, and they wind up ending on these fake jailbreak sites through a number of intermediaries that again are brokering the sale of these paid installations. They're just ads, guys. And basically, like I said, it is full click fraud on the website's part, the one that's promising the jailbreak for downloading an app that has nothing to do with jailbreaking. You can't obtain Cydia from a website. The days of the full-fledged jailbreak me are long gone. You have to actually exploit via a kernel exploit, something like Uncover, or you have to do it via the boot ROM with something like Chuck Grain. So you cannot jailbreak on a website itself. Sure, you can obtain an application that exploits the kernel from a website, but that is a completely separate story. Do not fall for any of the scams out there, guys. Like I said, the number one scam is actually trying to basically just generate click fraud. They're trying to get money for really nothing at all. They're trying to get something for promising a jailbreak, which does not exist. Keep that in mind. Be savvy, be a smart jailbreaker, guys. Avoid those scams. Now, let's talk about Chakrain for older devices. It has yet to be updated as of recording this video, like I mentioned earlier. However, you'll notice that my device here is actually on iOS 13.4. If we go inside of settings, general about for the version, it lists iOS 13.4. And I do in fact have Chakrain and uh, I'm jailbroken with Chakrain, and I can install Cydia. Now, this is because I do have the beta version, or I actually found the beta version online of 0.10.0. I actually discovered it the exact same day iOS 13.4 was released. However, it is a beta for a reason. Well, actually, it's not even a beta. It's a pre-release build of Chakrain. It's not intended for public use at all. Now, other individuals that I know of who have tried this claim that it does not work for them whatsoever. You can see for me it does work and my monitor just went dark so that's it for this video I guess. It's just going to stay that way until we wrap up. But as I was saying it is a pre-release version for a reason. A number of individuals that I know who have also tested it have reported that they just can't get it to work and there are a number of issues that still need to be worked out. iOS 13.4 did break the previous version of Chakrain. It did not patch it. It just broke it on a software level. So it's going to be fixed there is going to be a new public beta of Chakrain available hopefully shortly that will liberate us on iOS 13.4 and up. And hopefully this won't be an issue again anytime soon and we'll be able to jailbreak every new and subsequent firmware. But for now, guys, just hang tight. I would not recommend this pre-release version. If you come across it online, just avoid it. The only place where I recommend obtaining Chakrain and actually jailbreaking your device from is the official Chakrain site. And as of now, the latest beta posted publicly is 0.9.8.2, which does not include iOS 13.4 support. So that's everything for this video, guys. Like I said earlier, just subscribe. I'll let you know the very second we have any sort of newer interesting developments in the world of jailbreaking. And until next time, this is ICU signing out. Also, if you're new to jailbreaking, up next is one of our recent top tweaks videos. This is what you can do with a jailbroken device. Full video in the cards as well as in the description. 
Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. And today I want to talk about iOS 14 and jailbreaking. Yes, iOS 14 is closer than we think. And I really have yet to even begin to brainstorm what I want to see out of iOS 14. As I've been so busy talking about the latest jailbreak news and tweaks. And it just hit me. There are some awesome tweaks out there that would be just incredible to see in iOS 14. And I'm not thinking too radically here. We've seen Apple take inspiration from the jailbreak community in the past to improve the iOS software and add new features to the iPhone. I mean, just as of last year, dark mode is now on iOS. That's a huge accomplishment there. That's a feature that's been around for a long time on jailbroken iPhones, but now it's implemented into stock iOS. Anyhow, with that being said, I figured I would try something new today, give a new spin to my top tweaks video, and kind of combine a few topics here. Now, I just want to show you guys my personal jailbroken setup, what tweaks I use on a daily basis, and uh, throughout this video, I'll highlight some of my favorite must-have tweaks that I really hope come to light in iOS 14. Anyhow, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into today's video. Let me go ahead and show you guys my current jailbroken setup that's inspired by iOS 14. 